Parents, welcome to Addition Strategies, teaching kids that numbers can be represented in different ways. In this video, kids will use three addition strategies, picture equations and number bonds taught in the first two videos, and a new strategy, 10 frames. As taught in the first video, what is subitizing, kids learn to use picture equations, using visuals to show that the first two numbers have the same value as the last number represented by the equal symbol. As taught in the second video, kids learn to use number bonds, a part, part, to whole concept, to visually show the relationship between three numbers. In this video, we're going to introduce kids to the third strategy, 10 frames. It uses a frame of 10 equal spaces to visually show how numbers are put together to create 10. In this example, all three strategies visually demonstrate that one plus nine equals the number 10. Sammy had one marble. Tommy gave him nine marbles. Now, Sammy had 10 marbles. One marble plus nine marbles equals 10 marbles. Begin introducing kids to 10 frames with Annie who loves apples. Barker, who loves bones, and Charlie, who loves cheese. Now let's look at the first 10 frame example. Annie has seven green apples. Shelly gave her three red apples. How many apples does Annie have now? Let's look at the three steps. The first step is to begin with a blank 10 frame. The second step is to place seven green apples on the 10 frame. And the third step is to place three red apples on the 10 frame. And this shows that seven green apples plus three red apples equals 10 apples. So to answer the question, how many apples does Annie have now? She has 10 apples. So let's review the steps. Step one, begin with a blank 10 frame. Step two, place seven green apples on the 10 frame. Step three, place three red apples on the 10 frame and then write the equation. Seven plus three equals 10. With kids, read the problem. Annie had four green apples and six red apples. How many apples did Annie have? Now have kids cut out the apples and place them on the 10 frame to make the equation. Four green apples plus six red apples equals 10 apples. And this is a second option for the activity. Instead of cutting out the apples, kids can color in the apples to make the equation. And this is a completed example. Now have kids complete this practice page. Have them color the apples green and red to match each number equation. And this is a completed example. Two green apples plus eight red apples equals 10 apples. Nine green apples plus one red apple equals 10 apples. Eight green apples plus two red apples equals 10 apples and one green apple plus nine apples equals 10 apples. Now have kids draw a line from each 
10 frame to the matching number bond. Six green apples plus four red apples equals 10 apples. Three green apples plus seven red apples equals 10 apples. Five green apples plus five red apples equals 10 apples. This is a completed example. Now let's look at another example with Barker who loves bones. There were six brown bones in Barker's dish. Then four tan bones were put in his dish. How many bones does Barker have? So in our first step, we begin with a blank 10 frame. In our second step, we place six brown bones in the 10 frame. And in step three, we place four tan bones in the 10 frame. That shows us that six brown bones plus four tan bones equals 10 bones for Barker. Read the word problem with kids. Barker only had three brown bones in his bowl. Then, Tommy put seven tan bones in his bowl. How many bones does Barker have? Have kids cut out the bones and place them on the 10 frame to make the equation. This is a completed example. Three brown bones plus seven tan bones equals 10 bones. Barker now has 10 bones. A second option is to have kids color in the bones to make the equation. And this is the completed example. Now have kids color the bones to match each number equation. And this is a completed example. Three brown bones plus seven tan bones equals 10. Six brown bones plus four tan bones equals 10. Seven brown bones plus three tan bones equal 10. And four brown bones plus six tan bones equals 10. Now have kids draw a line from each 10 frame to the matching number bond. Six brown bones plus four tan bones equals 10. Five brown bones plus five tan bones equals 10. Four brown bones plus six tan bones equals 10. And this is the completed example. Now read the problem with kids. Charlie ate five slices of yellow cheese and five slices of orange cheese. How many slices of cheese did Charlie eat? In the first step, they would begin with a blank template. In the second step, they would add the first five slices of yellow cheese. And in the third step, they would add the five slices of orange cheese, showing that five slices of yellow cheese plus five slices of orange cheese equals 10 slices of cheese. Now read this story with kids. Charlie dreams of cheese. On Tuesday, he wants to eat four slices of yellow cheese and six slices of orange cheese. How many slices will Charlie eat? Have kids cut out the slices of cheese and place them on the 10 frame to make the equation. And this is a completed example. Four slices of yellow cheese plus six slices of orange cheese equals 10 slices of cheese. 
A second option for this activity is to have the kids color in the slices of cheese to make the equation. And this is a completed example. Now have kids circle the correct equation. 7 plus 3 equals 10. 5 plus 5 equals 10. 10 plus 0 equals 10. 6 plus 4 equals 10. 3 plus 7 equals 10. 2 plus 8 equals 10. And this is a completed example. A common practice in the classroom is to use base 10 templates and round markers. This is a template for 10 frames that you can print out and use at home with kids. Now have kids draw a line from each 10 frame to the matching number bond. 7 plus 3 equals 10. 2 plus 8 equals 10. 4 plus 6 equals 10. And this is the completed example. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe. And as always, I will leave a link for the teaching templates in the description section.